Normally on Cooking with Stas, you see me in a chef's jacket, but I just play one on television. Today, we're at Chicha Osteria in the Barrio Logan, which by the way, is a Michelin bib awarded restaurant. They're gonna show us how to take these beautiful squash blossoms and turn them into these crunchy, delicate delights. All right, I'm here with Chef Francesca, and you're gonna be making a beautiful stuffed squash blossom dish. Why don't we get these ingredients going and tell us what we have here? Yeah, some ricotta. We're gonna blend everything, and also some fresh burrata from Italy. Okay, and burrata is kind of like a, a mozzarella, but really Correct, fresh. but it has a filling, a creamy filling that makes everything more And like then this is Parmesan, parmesan cheese. Okay, I'm gonna add also some black pepper. Okay. And I need some basil, please. Okay, yeah, you got this beautiful, how much? Uh, a leaf, probably. One, just one yes. leaf, huh? And we don't a need a bit. lot of salt, but just a little bit. Okay. And we're gonna blend that, everything together. Okay, and, and this is just a, a blender. It, you know, most people have a blender at home, but you've got this really I nice. have my little toy, a Christmas present, but yeah. you can use any mixer, it really doesn't matter. Okay. And when it, everything is combined, you are ready to go. Okay, and now we're gonna put this in a bag and stuff the squash blossoms. So you just open up the little leaves on the top. So you wanna open the flower, it takes some patience, and you wanna insert the pipe in the center. You don't wanna break the flower because when you're gonna cook, you don't want the cheese to go out. Okay, and so let me open one up for yeah. you. And let then... me help you because I know. It's really, it is. It is there uh, we go, we got it. So, all right. When it, you are like this, let me show feeling? you the trick. Okay, let's you do You wanna the... close one flower at a time. When you have one left, the little trick is to put the cheese here and sealing because this one is gonna be in a tempura butter. Okay, so from here, where do we go? We are gonna uh, dip in our tempura dough. Okay, let's head over to the fryer. So if you're wondering where you can get these squash blossoms right now, farmer's markets or specialty produce. Yeah. All right, Chef, this is the tempura batter. Why don't you show us the trick that you were telling me about dipping them in the oil? So you first, you wanna make sure the tempura is all on the flour, but okay. you keep the steam clean. Keep you the remove the excess, and then there is a little trick. You wanna let them swim five times, so it starts. I see, it helps and then it flow. You can leave them, yes. Uh, I'm you don't want to break this beauty. All right, I'm gonna try it, give it a nice coating in here. And so here's the trick too, if obviously not every one of us has a deep fryer like this, but you wanna make sure, like the chef said, you do it in the top like this. And now if you have a deep cast iron pan like you see me cook with at home, hopefully this works, chef, here we go. It's gonna work, absolutely. Oh, it's kind of floating. No, 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 no. There we go. All right, so how long do these cook? You you will see from the color. You want a golden, crispy outside. Okay. I will say maximum three minutes. Okay. So. The first two are ready. So you notice from the color, okay. and you see how crispy they are. And yeah. look the cheese. Perfect. And you also notice from the coloration. Oh, yeah. And you want are... a very light tempura, so it's not chewy or heavy. And if the tempura is well done, it doesn't absorb oil, so it's gonna be very light. It's not gonna be a, an heavy dish. We did pretty good, huh? Oh, those look amazing. Do, do I, did I pass my uh, of course. In internship? Of <laughs> Voila. All right, chef, how do we serve this up? We like to serve on our vegetariano board. Uh, it's springtime, so it's all about vegetables. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So Thank this, you. this recipe really comes together. The only difficult part I see is maybe the deep frying, but with a cast iron skillet, no problem. No problem. You just want to keep uh, the right temperature. There you go. So if you like this recipe from Chef Francesca here at uh, Chicha Ostoria, uh, it will be available on our website, cbs8.com slash recipes and instead of cooking with styles we're cooking with chef francesca <laughs> buon appetito grazie mille <laughs>